So here I am at CJD, their offices, and I'm about to interview Aaron Wren. Good afternoon and welcome to Wednesday, the middle of the week on a so far sunshiny Wednesday afternoon, although clouds are kind of rolling in. Do you ever get nervous before you start yeah, a show? I always get nervous before I start a show. Yeah. And what year was it when you started in radio? Uh, I started originally back in 1977 when I was only two. <laughs> Three. Uh, and I was in sports at the beginning. I, I was a big sports nut. I was one of those kids, annoying kids who could tell you, you know, where every baseball player was born, where he, you know, how he batted, if it was left-handed, right-handed, that kind of stuff. So I did that for about four years, five years, and then uh, eventually moved my way into hosting a, a radio morning show. It's all about Montreal, you know? It's about the people here. It's about the fact that we all sort of learn to complain about the same things. We enjoy the city for the uniqueness that it brings us. So when you can reflect that in what you do, um, people let you know if you're sort of on the right track or not fairly quickly, and we've been lucky enough, I've been lucky enough to have been able to do it as a career. So how long does it take for you to prep for just one show? Prepping never stops, <laughs> ever. It's, you know, I get up in the morning, I'm reading newspapers, checking prep services, reading what happened on the internet last night. I'm always trying to hear what's going on. If there's an interesting story, try to follow up. Maybe it'll be good for the show, maybe it won't, but you're always looking for stuff. Oh, and end all of it is, the, you know, the idea that you sort of have to know a little bit about everything, you know. Um, so it's really just a matter of taking in as much as you can filtering it down and deciding what you're going to do, how much is relevant to the people who are going to be listening, and you go from there. So it's, it's different every day. You could, if you wanted to, find everything you needed to to do this kind of a show on the internet. You know what? I think you have to have some degree of talent because you, you sort of can't, what do we like to say, you can't bullshit your way through this. But beyond that, um, yeah, it's, it's hard work. Uh, it's staying up to date. It's, you know, focusing. And, and it, more than anything else, like in any other job, it's loving what you do. I think when you do that, uh, it, it shows in what you do. People are pretty cynical when it comes to politics, you know. We've gone through some bad times in Montreal, corruption scandals, the Charbonneau Commission, so people are a little bit more positive, I think, these days. So there's a chance to talk about it more, and I think that's a great thing, because the more you talk about it, the more people become involved, the more community-minded they become. It's all positive at the end of the day. The more we work together, the better community we end up with. If this were not serious news talk radio, uh, it might be a little funnier, it might be a little bit more lighthearted, because I think I am. I like making people laugh. Now you get a chance to make people laugh and make people think at the same time. That's like hitting a home run for me. So yeah, this is, this is pretty much me. Would you ever consider for running for a local political party or office? Oh my God, look at the time. That's a great question, Nadine, but I, and I wish I could answer it, but as you know, I have to go back to work. So you know what I would, if I didn't have to wear a suit to work every day, because that's the beauty that radio affords you, you can go to work in your pajamas if you wanted to, um, I'll just say maybe. I'm going to leave it at that there. i got to go to work. I hope you enjoyed the interview, and I hope you'll join me next time. Um, again, I'm Nadine Henley. And that was an interview with radio talk show host Aaron Rand and uh, a behind the scenes look at what it takes to be a great radio star. Thanks for watching.